Hi fellow foodies. Today is January 1st, 2021. Goodbye 2020. We are so glad you're gone. I am going to make something very fun. I saw on Facebook somebody looking for a pretzel recipe and a New Year's Day pretzel recipe. So that's what I came up with. I'll share it with you. It's pretty tasty. I'm Chef Sheila, the Spasmatic Chef, and I'm excited to get started. So here we go. We'll start off with one and a half cups warm water, a tablespoon of salt, and a tablespoon of sugar. We want it to just be lukewarm. Then we'll put the activated yeast and let that get nice and foamy. It takes about five minutes. Now you'll add the flour and the oil. It'll take a little work to mix it together. It takes a good two or three minutes of kneading the dough to bring it together. You can add another tablespoon of water if it's a little too dry. Now we'll just put it in a nice warm place and cover it and let it rise. While it's rising, I'll get my salt pepper mix ready and I'll get my cinnamon and sugar mix ready. This is just to top the pretzels when they're ready to go. I just want the yolks for this. So I'll separate two eggs, get the yolks, add a little bit of half and half or cream, whip it up, and that's my egg wash for the pretzels. Once they're done rising, I'll roll it out, cut them into eight, and I'll roll out the pretzels themselves. Now you want to keep the dough a little tacky, so keep water available so that you can rub it on the dough as you're rolling it out. For this part, we want to have a large pot of hot water and two-thirds cup of baking soda. And then we'll add our pretzels. 
We want them to float and then we'll flip them over. Cook them about 30 more seconds and they're ready to go on a tray to go into the oven. Now we're ready to egg wash and then we'll sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon and sugar or kosher salt. We want to bake them in a preheated oven at 450 for about 12 minutes. And bon appetit! Yummy! 2021, the most yummy pretzels I think I've ever made. A couple of things is when you roll out the dough, make sure to keep the dough wet. You can add a little water as you're doing it and stretching it just so it doesn't dry out on you. Mm. It's really, really good. Mm. Mouthful too. If you're from back east and you know of Wawa, these are better than Wawa. They're really, really delicious. So, after saying that, I wanted to tell you guys something else. It is going to be growing season soon. I'm getting really excited about the garden. Um, i got a few ideas of what I want to do with the garden, but I've got this website that I'm going to put down below in the description box that is fantastic. It's Southwestern Vegetable Gardens or Gardening. I'll put the exact link on there so you can click on it so you can get started on your garden because every single chef loves fresh vegetables and loves to have an herb garden to work on and you've got to get your soils and stuff ready and this is really cool because it's a southwestern um, whole website on all of the things you would need to know to be really successful so I'm gonna put a link to that and I'll do another video using some of the ideas and techniques off of that website super fantastic website you've definitely got to check it out I know I've got a few chefs out there and I won't mention names just in fear of missing someone's name, but I know you guys are going to love this website and it's really helpful to getting that garden going early. Okay, that's all I got for you. Two thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment box and let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys on the comment side. See you guys later. Bye-bye.